Welcome to the Beverly Hills Country Club. Tonight, I've been invited to the Freedom and Fashion Founders Circle Dinner. Come on in and follow me. It's gonna be a good night. You'll see. Watch. Hi, Bonnie. Hi. Well, thank you so much for inviting me here to your Founders Circle here at the Beverly Hills Country Club. Tell me about it. So Founders Dinner, Freedom and Fashion Founders Dinner, we have it monthly where we invite various CEOs or people who run organizations just to come and have dinner with us so we can share stories about what we do. And what is it that you do? Uh, Freedom and Fashion? Uh -huh. Well, I'm the executive director and founder of Freedom and Fashion. It was started in 2008. Uh, the idea was conceptualized this, this nonprofit was conceptualized after spending a few months in Thailand in the red light district where I worked with survivors of trafficking. Uh, they made their own jewelry to earn a sustainable living. So after I saw that, I wanted to bring awareness about the issue mm -hmm. and also highlight the solution, which is um, economic independence. So you actually lived among mm -hmm. the people in Thailand? Yes. And you experienced all this. Tell us more about your, your story. I mean, that what went on your mind to actually find this organization? Well, you know, I wasn't really aware of the issue, especially mm -hmm. back in 2008. Most people that are, were around me in Los Angeles didn't know about the issue either. Uh, I went there as a challenge. Somebody challenged me to get myself um, educated on mm -hmm. the issue. It was very interesting and something that was horrible. And I, when I went over, I was firsthand experiencing what uh, the stories of these women. I would go into the, uh, the strip clubs or the bars or just on the street doing outreach work and listening to the stories and how they came to this situation that they were in. Actually, most of them, when I talked to them, I asked them, do you like what they're doing? And initially they might lie and say yes, but when I probed deeper, they actually said that they wanted to go to school or they wanted to run their own businesses. I'm coming from a place where I want to do something about it, knowing that I personally have done these things that these women want to be a part of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell us then, then, what is the mission of Freedom and Fashion? So Freedom and Fashion, we are an organization, nonprofit organization that focuses on uh, women's empowerment, mainly human trafficking, and we do it in two ways. We do it through arts empowerment projects, or we do resource allocation. So we bring resources to where the need is, or we um, have creative types of programs like our mentorship program where we utilize makeup artistry and fashion design to mentor some of these girls. Mm -hmm. These girls, you know, they actually make the jewelry and then you, you sell them and our don donors can buy them and as a donation to the organization, correct? Right. In the past, we've had a lot of these social enterprise projects where donors bought jewelry or brought merchandise. Um, what we are focusing uh, as of recent is a mentorship program uh, as well as a job creation program. Mm -hmm. So mostly working with different uh, companies, mid to large companies to try to get them jobs. What has been your challenges since you started this, since, you know, since 2007, is that? 2008. 2008. 2008. As with most nonprofits, it's always fundraising because we need to put oil in the engine if we're going to move the car into mm -hmm. doing the work that we do. People have a lot of awareness about the issue of human trafficking and what goes on, but not a lot of people know what are the next steps. Some of these women and girls are in the shelters, but they don't have a, a way to be independent. Mm -hmm. uh, so one of our programs, the job creation program, provides that opportunity where more and more women can get jobs and be independent mm -hmm. and not stay in the shelters. And then, again, just like me, I'm, I'm like with millions of viewers out there, I don't know much about the social issues. So thank you for sharing that information. So, so how can we outsiders or people who are listening get involved with your organization or either as a volunteer or uh, make a contribution, a donation? What, how do we do that? You can always visit freedomandfashion.com, just the way it's spelled, and then you can get more information there. Okay, all right, that's great. Well, thank you so much for inviting me here tonight, Bonnie. All right.
Thank so you, let's Ben. Enjoy the evening. Thank All you. right, let's see you again. This is Laverne Delgado Small, and she is the Daughters of Love Mentorship Program Director. Uh, she will share on what she does. So I direct this awesome program that we have with uh, Freedom of Fashion called Daughters of Love. And with that, we really express that we're convinced that every human needs guidance in some aspect of their life, especially when they're young. And we provide that guidance and mentor mentorship through fashion and beauty. We use the arts and trade of fashion and beauty to create a medium and provide mentorship to girls that we're convinced need it the most. We work a lot with survivors of uh, sex trafficking and just at-risk girls, and this is a big deal to them. Um, we teach them things from design and concept to cut and sew to hair and makeup, and because they're learning things that they already naturally love being girls in Los Angeles, uh, they become more vulnerable, their walls come down, and, and they share a lot about what's really going on inside, and that's an easier way for us to really provide them with the mentorship that they need for them to grow, prosper, flourish, and it also teaches them a trade that they can use to get jobs later. So it helps implement them back into society, which we're really pumped about. So if this convinces you to want to get involved, please visit freedominfashion.com and support us. Thank you.